Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton and a couple of division rivals going head-to-head -head today, Siggy. I think when these two teams match up that regardless, you're looking to bury that other club because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Kyle Hendricks been a very solid pitcher throughout his career ERA around three and a half what I like is he competes he stays in the game and he gives his team an opportunity to win stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop Ellie De La Cruz the pitch it weakly on the ground towards second. Grabs it barehanded. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Boogie he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Nobody out. Runner at first. In for a strike. Now three and one. Three one. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Hendricks throws over. And he's back safely. Righty delivers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And ball four to a board. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Matt McClain. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. pitch on the ground of first could be two over to Swanson he turns it a 3-6-1 double play the 3-6-1 double play in my opinion is one of the toughest plays to make you've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target everything has to be perfect and right there they made it look pretty easy on the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Fraley. Can't glove it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack, no score. Back here at the friendly confines. And today's starter, Graham Ashcraft. 
and Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft go. contact, let the defense do work the behind him. Easy. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Friedel makes the catch, and there's one down. That is second. The right field. So up next, Seiya Suzuki. There's a strike up high. And it's 0 and 1. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. That misses ball the one. zone, and the count even one and one. One ball, one strike. Good ball, eye in that spot. Two one. Two and one now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to first, and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Cody. Bellinger. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger, remember, in 2017, he won the Rookie of the Year, hit 39 homers, and that set a National League rookie home run record. In there for strike one. Yeah, Boog, a tremendous athlete. He won the Rookie of the Year as a first baseman, plays center field with the tops in the game, oh. and he's got a gold glove and right. 1-1. One, one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing for the Cubbies in the opening frame. Out of the second now from Wrigley with no score. All set for the start of the inning. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. Spencer Steer. And the right hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Toss to Mancini. And quickly one away in the second. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Another solid power season. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Hendricks, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer oh. leash, and because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. The one, two. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. 
the first base number 33. Christian Man at first with one gone. Now it's the rookie first baseman, number 33. First offering and it just misses. Votto stands at first with one out. Ball to strike. That's In tough. there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And a ball okay. evens the count. The 2 2. Oh, Struck God. him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. At the play, Tyler Stevenson. Yep. That one's in there 0-1. You know, Chris, Kyle Hendricks went to Dartmouth, so he's known as the professor, but his teammates on the Cubs actually call him Carl. His good friend and former bullpen coach of the Cubs, Chad Noble, came up with that nickname and it stuck for whatever reason so you'll hear them on the field saying come on Carl hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning no runs one hit no errors and a man left we go to the bottom of inning number two we're tied nothing nothing we head to the bottom of the second and now Jan Gomes the designated hitter Jan Gomes Here comes a pitch. And that's Ball. outside. 1 0. -oh. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strikes. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. Jan Gomes hits one out. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 1-0. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. Dansby Swanson stands in. And that one pulled foul. Oh, he just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The wind of the pitch. To the right side, Steer. Slings to first, Ow. and Swanson is set down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. No not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Now the left fielder, Christopher Morell. Singy, this kid's quite a story. Super talented. Maybe as good an arm as the Cubs have on their team defensively. One of their fastest players. He debuted at 22 years old after having played 10 games above double-A. One down, base is empty. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Yeah, and a high level of confidence. 
he actually called his first major league home run told some teammates in the dugout that he was going to homer in his first at bat went up there he hit a 417 foot blast into the left field bleachers. Next pitch no, just misses, and the count is even two and two. Line drive, base hit. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right, right there. Right. Everything was no, on time and fluid in that swing. Right, right. Got a pitch he could get the barrel Man, on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Trey Mancini now. And that's in there for strike one. Looks like he sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And he deals. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Brings it in, and there's two away. Batting it, the catcher, Miguel Amaya. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Ball one low. late with the swing there well at that velocity if that's all you're seeing 88 you can handle that all day long that's what you get in batting practice but off the velocity of the fastball that is a very tough pitch to adjust to Ashcraft checks over to first and he's back another throw over and they're keeping him close The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. This to third. Zips it to first, and that is the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early one nothing lead. Back after this on the show. Here at Wrigley Field, and here is Will Benson. Will Benson. Hendricks back to work. They say it went. No ball. One strike. Ground ball left side. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Reached on an infield single his first time. And takes low for ball one. De La Cruz throws right, bats left. Hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Pitch is in there, and it's one and one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes no. on and on. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. Next pitch no. inside, and that's ball three. Yeah. 
There's a line drive to left field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in two away. Up left by Cincinnati. The center field. And now TJ Friedel. He reached out a walk his first time. And downstairs. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. One two more. out and nobody on. You want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. The wind and the pitch. In the air, right field. Suzuki makes the catch inning over and one two three go the Reds still behind by a count of one to nothing. As we go Leading to the off, last of the top. third here's the third baseman, the third baseman. Nick Madrigal. Nick. Madrigal. And a pitch. And no, ball one. Ball. One ball, no strike. That one out to right. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. The back, number two, second baseman, Nico Horner. Here's Nico Horner. Glide out his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Chris, it's always interesting to me to see a guy like Nico Horner, who wasn't drafted out of high school and then out of Stanford, was a first round pick. That's some serious growth as a player. The pitch. Towards first. Sneaks through. Base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now the number two hitter, Seiya Suzuki. Grounded out his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Yeah, especially with today, guys playing so much baseball all year round you get scouted and you get opportunities to be looked at way more than it was when I was growing up or you were growing up so for him to not get drafted out of high school and then to be playing at Whoa. this level pretty impressive Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Check swing, and that's a ball. Chris, we talk about that jump for Nico Horner moving from high school to college. The other thing, he was the first player from his draft class to make the majors, the 24th overall pick in 2018, and he made his major league debut a year later. And the righty deals, and that's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Booth. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Struck out swinging his first time. And fouled off. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. A one down. And it's fouled away. Magical at third. Corner over at second. Suzuki on at first with nobody out. That's down ball. and in. One ball, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. 
Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Gomes in the box lays off for ball one. He's already homered in this one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Jan Gomes waits. That one hammered, but pulled foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering misses down and away. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Kicks and fires. That one the other way. Makes the grab and there's two out. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Dansby Swanson, the next cup to hit. Grounded out his first time. Check swing. No appeal. Ball one. Base is loaded. Two down. Swings and misses. One That's one strike, strike one. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Here's the strike up high. Now one and two. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And a weak ground ball to the left side. They take the force out, inning over. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. Three innings complete. It's the Cubs one and the Reds nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Matt McClain. McClain. And a pitch. The other way. And that's a fair ball. Now down. Right field. Jake. Now it's going to be Jake Fraley. First oh. offering misses the mark. 1-0. Left hand hitter waits. Base hit center field. A couple of singles back to back. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low and out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Spencer Steer. First time up, he grounded to third. On the ground, could be two. Corner over to second. Relay to first, double play. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now at the plate, Joey Votto. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. So after the double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game.
high fly ball out to center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Here's the left fielder, Christopher Morell. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. On the ground, out to short. De La Cruz jumps, throws, out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Man, Chris, a jump throw like that is certainly worthy of the stack cast treatment. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boog. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. I mean, he made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make, especially with that much behind it. And now the first baseman, Trey Mancini. That oh, one misses, no. and it's 1-0. Oh. Chris, boom, you know what they call boom, Mancini. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. For Ray Mancini, the famous boxer, it stuck when he started hitting home runs, though, in baseball. And the 1-0. Oh. That one fouled off. Yeah, good power hitter on the field, but a really good human being off the field. And in fact, in 2021, he was named the AL Comeback Player of the Year after beating stage three colon cancer in 2020 and became a real inspiration to many around the league. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Amaya takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. That misses the zone. Now 2 0. And a foul ball. Makes the count 2 and 1. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. It's two and two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. On the ground to third. Fair ball. Everything came together for him. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Here's Nick Madrigal. Single to right in his first trip. That's towards center. Friedel moving under it. He makes the grab. And that is that. Cubs leave one, but they still lead it one nothing. Here at Wrigley Field, we go to the top of the fifth. In now for the Reds, number 33. The right hander back to work. Edge of the zone for a strike, going one. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Ripped into right center for a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. No 
No outs. Runner at first. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. There's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch misses. One and two to count. Way to lay off that pitch down. The one one is fouled off. Looking for the K. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Will Benson. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. In there for strike one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. And a pitch. Two balls. One strike. That's in there. That's strike two. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. No, he held up. And here it comes. Got him swinging. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And that is that. They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cubs one and the Reds nothing. Welcome back. And stepping Nico in Horner. is the speedy Nico Horner. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, and he just misses. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. On the ground to third, and it stays fair. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
move to first. Back in their standing. The 1 0. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back base hits. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. Bellinger up to hit. That ah. one's in there, and that is strike one. Boog, I had the chance to scout Cody Bellinger as a toddler. He used to come into the clubhouse after games there in Columbus as his dad, Clay, was a catcher and a utility player on the team. And you could tell then that he had a pretty special swing. Kicks and deals. And strike two. Oh. Cody Bellinger told me a funny story that as he was coming out of the cage one time as a little kid, Derek Jeter said to him, hey, you don't swing like your dad at all. you got a pretty good swing. No outs, runners at first and second. On the ground, fair ball. Corner flies around third. One run across, Suzuki. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay, not in time, he scores. And they lead by three. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Graham Ashcraft won't go any further tonight. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Pitcher on here, Fernando Cruz. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Fernando Cruz. Now it's Jan Gomes. That misses, and that's ball one. A strike the pitch there's a swing and a miss clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there it just ended up out in front of the slider hey you can't fault him for his commitment now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes cuts and misses it's a strikeout well that's the money maker right there two strikes slider no down and away from a same side Good thrower stop. as the hitter I mean, it's just tough you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off Swanson stands in now looks at that one inside Bellinger leads off second with one gone in the inning on the ground right side boots it but plenty of time to recover and that's the second out Christopher Morell digs in now Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at third, two away. That misses. And one and one. One ball, one strike.
Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. In comes the run from third to add on, and it's 4 nothing. And in its second with an RBI double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Man at second here with two away. Trey Mancini now at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. His family owns Mancini Peppers, and you know, they produce up to 50,000 pounds of peppers a day. They got roasted peppers, fried, blanched, sweet, hot, tangy. Am I making you hungry over there? Very hungry. Well, the Mancini family has been farming in Florida since the 1940s. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Morrell, around third. He'll score easily. It's 5-0. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Man in scoring position with two away. Miguel Amaya, the next cup to hit. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Now the 0-1. And yeah, the pitch is outside. Ball one. 1-1. One, one. And a good eye there. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Man, it's second. Misses outside. outside. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Two outs. Hike. Full count. This one in the air right field. He's there. He's got it. And that is the third out of the inning. So it's four runs, five hits, no errors, and one left. Five innings complete. It's the Cubs five and the Reds nothing. Here at Wrigley Field. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. The why to kick the pitch. Swinging a foul straight back. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. And strike two. Now try to bunt for a hit right there, and you can tell he's trying to get something, anything going offensively. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. And that one hit to first. Mancini Out. takes it to the bag. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier yeah. enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The pitch. And there's the strike of the outside corner. One and two. Just misses Inside. the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh. And there's a ball. You see how the catcher oh, wanted yeah. that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. 
That's out to center field. Bellinger makes the grab, and there's two gone. The bat, the right field. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Jake Fraley. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Little chopper rolls foul. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Third out. Nothing doing here this half. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cubs 5 and the Reds nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Leading Stepping off, in, Colton Nick Cubs. Madrigal. The third baseman. Cruz measures six feet two Madrigal. inches, 33 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Cruz back to work. What Way up. high. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent, it produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. Good eye right there. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Corner a guy you think about with a strong baseball IQ, but just the overall smarts. He comes from an educational background. Both of his parents at one time taught at Stanford, and his mom currently is on the faculty at Cal. Next ball offering two. misses. Ball two. Madrigal on at first. Nobody out. Steel, steel, Rudder steel. takes off. Pitch misses. Ball. Safe at second ball. with a stolen Good base. Play. Content with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. I don't think you can get comfortable with a five run lead in today's game, and now they've got a good chance of adding on. Let's get a couple runs. 3 0 down. That That's just down. missed. Four, four. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and yeah, yeah, yeah. guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something yeah. out of the zone. So up now for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. First ball, offering ball. misses the mark. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. The pitch. They tried ball. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the right hander deals. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Here's a 3 0. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That one in there across the letters. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away, bottom of the sixth. 
Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. A really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. Bellinger in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One ball. One out. Runners at first and second. Two balls, no strikes to count. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Here comes a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one's gone into the bleachers. Cody Bellinger blasts one out. His 16th homer of the year, and they throw three on the board. It's 8-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. And when you throw that pitch, don't expect to get it back. You get a new baseball from the umpire. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Lucas Sims. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. So one out, nobody on. Here's Jan Gomes. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next pitch outside, is outside. Ball. And that one is inside. Swings and misses. Now three and two. Still only one out here in the inning. And he walked him. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Swanson stands in now and watches strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. This one high in the air to left center. Friedel drops steps, heads back on it. He's got it. And there are two down. Up next, next uh, uh, No left field here. Christopher. Man at first. Oh, and up next for Chicago, Christopher Morell. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Ian Jabot loosening up for manager David Bell. And a pitch. 
Swing and a miss, oh, and that's strike two. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. So the Cubs get three on this blast. It's now an 8 nothing game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Spencer Steer. Steer. And he deals. That's in there. Strike one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. On the ground to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next to hit, Joey Votto. Ball one there. Next offering is in for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Ball. Falling behind two and one. Two one. And a swing and a miss. Two good ball. late two sink ball. on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Oh, great stop. The throw, nicely done for the out. This defense came to play tonight. We're seeing some awesome pitching, but a huge part of this shutout so far has been the guys making great plays like that behind their pitcher. They feed off of one another, make great pitches, make great plays defensively. Two outs, space is empty. Next for Cincinnati, number 33. On the corner for a strike, and it's 0-1. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This one pretty well decided at this point. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Cubs eight and the Reds nothing. Bottom of the seventh, leading, leading off, off Trey Mancini. The first base, Trey Mancini. And the pitch. Foul ball. The pitch. And delivers Hold outside. On. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s now fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Amaya ball, in the box no. here lets that one go for a ball. One ball, no strike. Ball, 
Next ball. pitch misses, and that's ball two. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Right-handed reliever. That one outside. Three and two down. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. The 3 2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. One gone runner at first. Nick Madrigal will hit next. Fouled off. He was late. Riding to the plate, and that one got a piece of him. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the ladders. Looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. Nico Horner, the next cup to hit. In there for strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. There's a strike. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And now Ball. it's even Too up. High. Slider clips the corner. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. And the pitch. And now the count is even. First and second, two down. Goes down looking. Cubs strand a couple as it remains an 8 nothing game. Back here at the ballpark, we're at the top of the eighth. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Hendricks oh. still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And he flips a breaking ball in there one or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Just a weak fly ball this time. Suzuki running hard for it. Grabs it on the run. One away. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Benson in the box now. No balls and a strike. Now 
Out to short. Swanson on the run. Throw to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. No oh, balls, two strikes. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. That hits the oh. dirt, and the count is one and two. Oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that, and good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. One, two now. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Reds go down quietly, and they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. And welcome back. On to the go. bottom of the eighth. Oh, so up now for Chicago, the Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. The pitch. Just missed. The 1 0. Yep. And another oh. ball. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball center field. Benson on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. The and there's one away. Designated hitter. Yon. And here's the Yon. DH for the Cubs. Jan Gomes. And that one fouled off. Here comes the 1. Just no, missed. And here it comes. And that one hammered. That's back there. Gone! All muscle to center field. And they tack on to their lead. It's 9-0. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. And here is Dansby Swanson. Uh -huh. And that's in there at the knees. Right-hander kicks deals. Now this is in the air down the line. Fraley getting an angle on it. And there's two away. The left -hander, number five, Christopher. So two down now, and here is Christopher Morell. Yeah, the first yeah. offering is not close. Yeah. Slider clips the zone. Yeah. 
Not two close one. with that one. And it's two and one. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next offering okay. is down low. Kicks and fires. Way out front for strike two. Three two now. Popped in the air. Left field. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Cubs get one on the solo shot. Last chance coming up for the Reds. We go to the ninth, and now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. T.J. Friedel. The wind and the pitch. A little bit low. Down low. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Swing and a miss. One and two. And now two and two. And the two two. Friedel catches his swing. Appeal down to third, and Earl Hendricks punches him out. That's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. McClain. Now the third baseman, Matt McClain. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Well, just very efficient out there on the mound. I mean, just a great outing. He's just now getting to 100 pitches. Out of line, out towards center. Bellinger makes the grab, two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Fraley, the batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. And yeah, that's a little bit high. One ball, one strike. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. The one two. Oh. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And the righty deals. Oh, and it's filled up. Oh, yeah. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at-bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now it's the second baseman, Spencer Steer. That's in for a strike. Oh one. Fraley off of first with two away. Chop back up the middle. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cubs get a shutout on the mound.
it has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 9 nothing. your final in this one. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.